I did use code. Damn! Oh, oh, really? <laughs> Mute him! Mute him! <laughs> That's too much money! Something about getting that green and black package that just, it's different. I had okay, two hands full of Guggen baits. Yeah. And he just looked at them like they were golden. Let me do it. I want to do it. All right, let's do it at the same time. One, right? two, three. <laughs> you went early. <laughs> oh, boys and girls, we got an awesome banger podcast for you guys. I'm Brandon. He's Tristan. That's right. We got some guests. We got an awesome guest sitting to my right. And we got a guest to our left over here. What's Will you going tell us on, your name? Ladies and gentlemen. Oh. All right. That's well, now that that's done. He already had his own podcast, yeah. man. Fanatic, you had your podcast, so you cannot speak until spoken to. Deal? Well, I technically just spoke to him, but <laughs> he ruined his shot. So, uh, as you guys might be able to tell, we have a new banger bro down here. Let's just go ahead and knock it out and tell him what's going on. Dude, banger bro Derek has major bag energy. Yeah. <laughs> Big bag energy out of Derek over here. Mind you, he put it all out there. I, but did he? I don't know. Well, I have so many questions. <laughs> so, we just picked Derek up from the airport. If you guys didn't know... Derek recently purchased, I believe you set a world record on guggensquad.com. I feel that that'd be the only way to go is I, set the world record I'd, right out I'd say here. that's probably accurate, right? Mm -hmm. Nod if, your head, yes, <laughs> fanatic, if you think so. Yeah, it's if accurate. Not, I do, I do want to see the record, if not. Right. Oh, that's true. I, I wonder, there could be a Wait, total out there that's pretty what? serious. Okay. Uh, so basically, Guggen put out two mystery packages of ten. Uh, they were worth ten thousand dollars. Yeah, two people bought them. But the reason that we have this guy here is because yeah. you did a slide up on your story and said, "Who should we bring on the podcast? Do yeah. you or do you want to be yeah. on the podcast?" So I put up a slide. I showed off set two of the yeah. Banger Pod, which people are loving, by the way. Yeah, I mean we have we don't really know because we haven't put out a podcast yeah. yet with it, but um, you know what I'm saying. But anyway, so I put up on my story. I said. You want to be on the podcast? Tell us why. Because there's a lot of interesting people yeah. out there. And we want to like open it up. We know a lot of creator friends like this guy. Yeah. But we've already talked to him. Right. We want to talk to cool people. And I read a bunch. There was a bunch <clears throat> of really cool ones. So we need to revisit those. But I got one that says, because I just bought the $10,000 Guggen bundle. And I was like, holy shit, that's a lot of zeros. I really noticed it because of how many zeros were in that message. I'm honestly surprised you saw it. Well, so you, you'd be surprised with how many DMs I don't get, Derek. <laughs> so, <laughs> so mind you, no, it's, it's good. We can keep that. So, mind you, Brandon does that. We all got tagged in, or maybe you tagged us in a uh, post. Like you caught this giant bass. Yep, yep. And so I had liked the post, and then he was talking about the guy that bought the Guggen bundle or whatnot. And these guys are hooligans over here. <laughs> and so I was like, oh, yeah, I heard about that. I saw it on like John B's story and a yeah. few other guys yeah. that someone had did that. I'm like, that is so ridiculous. And then you're like, it's this guy. And I'm like, oh, shit, I already, I already liked his yeah. post. <laughs> yeah. Um, so pretty crazy. We're going to talk about that in today's podcast, what you were thinking, how it happened, <laughs> what kind of credit card you have. <laughs> I, and no, we have a ton of questions, but I, uh, let's just go ahead and free Fanatic. Yeah. Team Free oh. Fanatic, do you feel better? I kind of liked it on. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. When I a little force kink, fed little, you Red little Bull. little kinky boy. It didn't go. By the way, you want to know something about Fanatic that just makes my blood boil? Yeah. You know, I, yeah. I haven't had this new flavor right. of duct tape drink You know yet. why it makes my blood boil as well? You bought it for I me? I bought it for you. Yeah, yeah. you did. I, I you said, bought that for Brandon? I'm, I'm yeah. on a diet right sweet. now, and I said I will only try <laughs> the new... mine was free. <laughs> <laughs> I only try, said I was going to try that duct tape drink, the new flavor, if it was an 8.4 ounce. Yeah, so I found it and gave it to yeah. him, and then he sold yeah, it. Yeah, anyway, so I got a question for you, Derek. Yes, sir. Straight off the rip. What was going through your head when you saw that bundle? You, I checked out your Instagram. You have a lot of Guggen stuff already. You're already. a big Guggen dangler. So you've dropped more than 10 racks. Probably already, yeah. Oh my oh, gosh, really? Shit. Probably. He said when he walked in here, across behind the podcast, there's my the bait wall. It's We did a video on it. Anyway, it's, it's a bait wall. It's a bunch of Guggen baits. There's a bunch up there. He's like, yeah, this does kind of look like my basement. I was like, shit. <laughs> shit. Dude, that's a lot of baits, bro. So what, what's your current tackle box look like of, of Guggen gear? Well, just currently in my truck right now, there's probably well over, 
probably a grand just sitting oh, in. Damn. That, this, this is soft plastics only. Damn. I'm so excited to see what he does for a living because I'm going to do that. <laughs> yeah. So I'm right. gonna do. Oh, wow. We're all you, like, everybody's probably going to be surprised. Really? Oh, dude, I'm excited. Damn. Now. Okay, perfect. So wh when you, uh, when you saw, you obviously keep up to date with Google and you watch their videos. You mentioned on the flight here that you watch them a few of our videos and which mm -hmm. was really cool because yeah, we, we didn't take a flight here, but well, his we flight here. here. Well, how was that by the way? Oh, oh yeah. His first flight. It, it, first flight, <laughs> first ever. flight out the gate ever. Wow. That was the first time you've ever flown. Ever flown. Is it how, because you just it? didn't, you usually drive places? Yeah. I okay. usually drive. Yeah. Either that or if it's, I was like, dude, no way far, he's spending 10 grand on something. He's never, never flown yeah. somewhere. If, if it's that far, I don't need to go. Wow. Really? Sam, That's cool. Was it, Good was it, or did it suck? I mean, I had no idea what to expect, but I mean, Dude. I woke up at two thirty a.m. Oh. to make it. Yeah, he's two. To, he was two hours from the airport to make it to Kansas City to fly oh. to, to fly to Detroit, and then you have to, to drive two hours back to Tampa tonight. So and yes. So here's the thing: is um, <gasps> it was so last minute. All of this is like breaking fast. Like yeah. when people see this pod, whenever this comes up, this would have obviously been. Um, this has already happened for a little bit now, right. but you, how many days ago did you buy it? I would say less than like four, less yeah. than four days. So then yeah. I saw it, we talked for a day and then got you here the next day. Well, so I, then I happened to fly in the next day. Yes. All this happened. And then you were like, dude, fast. I want to get this guy on it. I'm like, I mean, yeah, sure. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. So I felt bad that you had like connecting flights and stuff, but literally we booked it yesterday evening. Yeah. So you can't really avoid yeah. that with that yeah. sooner notice, yeah. especially in Kansas. Right. So, mm -hmm. so, but no, we got you here. We're stoked to have you. Unfortunately, we're flying you back out tonight. So yeah. it's like <laughs> we, within an, uh, a couple hours. Yeah, yeah. We'd like to like hang out and dangle with you, but um, unfortunately we got to send you back. To, we could dangle to after the pod. We do got a little there, bit of dangle there's, time. There's some dangle time right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Just ask the banger bass. He came right from the dangle pond. <laughs> yesterday. In the he came yesterday. Yeah. Well, what? What did he say? Hell yeah, he did. <laughs> He's good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like father, like son. Ain't that right, boy? <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh. So, all right. When you saw this bundle, you keep up with Guggen. You've watched him for a while. But when you saw this bundle, what about it made you say, you know what? Out of all the things I could spend my money on, well, why uh, am I doing this $10,000 bundle when I have no clue what I'm going to get. Well, first off, I want to know what, um, what did it look like on the site? Cause I had no idea. Oh, that's did a it, good question did it too. say like description? Or yeah. Anything? Describe like what it looked like. Well, all right. Give us the story, yeah. your experience, seeing it on the screen, everything. So literally I was, I was sitting at work about to get off and I was just, I always scroll through the Google website just to see what's up. So it's like a daily thing for you. I mean, the Black uh, Friday sale was going okay. on, so I was like, Big okay, sale. So got it. yeah, maybe maybe other stuff I don't have yet Got it. <laughs> um, is still on the website, so okay. I just had to check. Right. And actually, the first bundle I saw was the, the $1,000 one. Oh, or, the thousand? Or I the didn't bundle. even know there was a $1,000 bundle. And it was like, it said it was $1,500 worth of stuff. Right oh, now. wow. I'm like, oh, wow, that's, that's nice. That's, a, that's, damn, a, good that's deal. a damn good deal. Yeah. And then I scrolled one finger slight more, and then it was 10000 I was like, <laughs> You want more know, swipe? You're at a hundred thousand. Shit, Guggen House. I'm gonna buy a Guggen House for hundred thousand dollars. So I Damn. I clicked on it and then I I instantly screenshotted it and texted my girlfriend. Oh, and I was like, shit. and she was cool with it. Wait, hold on. What'd no. she say? She she wanted me to do it. No she, way. She she's the one sitting on the couch with me every night watching you guys just ride along with me. Oh, Damn. Really? So she's a big supporter and like I was telling Tristan. Your girlfriend's awesome. Wife is just amazing. She so. thinks my wife's amazing. That's awesome. Huh. So brown, that's cool. Man. Brownie points there. Yeah. So. Damn. But that's really yeah, cool. Yeah, I was literally just sitting there. Okay, so I, you're looking at the package. You send it to your girlfriend. What does it say? Like it says ten thousand Google. Is bundle, there a description? Because it's it's a I mystery did, thing, right? Yeah, I did. Well, I did screenshot the description and sent it to her, and. Did you even know what you were like? I do you mean, know remotely what, the, what you, you were have getting? The description? I, I'm, yeah, it's on my phone, but it's over there. Oh, but, yeah, it's not worth it. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> but I knew it was something about like there will be like time with the Googans involved. Yeah, in some I, aspect. I think I, I remember think, seeing. That. I think it was like a potential fly down to Guggen Week type thing. Yeah, or which would be worth it. That'd be so fun. worth Just it. Something of that. Yeah. Magnitude, but man, that's, that's crazy. Really cool. So. But nothing else was spoken about, like, if you're going to get X amount of rods or X amount of bait or anything it, like that. It just said, like, it'll in definitely include some of that stuff or, like, yeah. access to new things that they're working Damn, on and right. stuff like that. So Yeah. 
That's wow. Awesome. So, okay. So what you, okay. Now I have a real question. <laughs> if, if I were to spend $23 at a gas station buying gas in Idaho, right, right. my bank is calling me and they're <laughs> like, Hey bro, what the hell are you doing in Idaho? Mm -hmm. Even if I'm from Florida, I've lived in Florida my whole life, except for college. But if I were to spend $5,000 immediately, mm -hmm. my bank would call me. What kind of bank situation do you have to spend $10,000 on a website for fishing lures? So the, the funny part is my girlfriend actually works at a bank. Okay. Uh, this is nice. So my parents don't even know I'm here doing this yet. No way. No idea. Wait, Let's get them. Awesome. Hold on. Let's, Wait, hold on. Time out. Time out. Time out. Hold on. <laughs> How old are you? 23. Okay, we okay, okay. We're good. We got yeah, it. We're good. good. They, Holy they, shit. They have no idea. So okay. I couldn't ask them for their credit card because mine doesn't allow 10000 yet. No way your girl gave. gave a loan. Wait, did My, she rob the bank no. that she worked at? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> but no, I, her, her grandma is her biggest supporter. And she's like, if you really want to do this, like I can ask my grandma right now if you can use her credit card. And I was like, you know what? what? No way. Not, not trying to sound like a cocky person here, but like I had the cash sitting waiting there and I was like, yeah. this is a opportunity of a lifetime. So like, yeah, I'm going to definitely do that. Wow. Uh, grandma's okay. balling. Grandma's fat. Damn. Chilling. Well, also like big shout out to your girl. Sounds like she's a huge supporter of you. Yeah. Caitlin. Caitlin. Like, Caitlin. Caitlin, yeah. Caitlin, 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 legend. We all appreciate wow. you. Wow, <laughs> Caitlin. Yeah. Wow. And Derek's parents. He he <laughs> said he wanted to come down here. We, yeah. we did not force him down here. No. We're shipping yeah. him back to you safely. They're gonna I find hope. out you got on your first flight. Is what they're yeah. Find yeah. Out. yeah. Honest well, to God, you. we I'm have go a, back to Missouri and show them the videos. And oh like, you did my <laughs> gosh. You went where? Jesus, man. Oh, my Bro. God. Yo, let me... I don't <laughs> this care. This is like the worst stranger <laughs> Listen, story ever. Let me, let me talk to Caitlin real fast, okay? Punch in real fast. Caitlin, you're a trooper because if I told Kenzie, my wife, that I was going to spend $10,000 on anything right now, yeah. she'd be like, uh, I don't think so. Yeah. And she, the fact that she was like, yeah, here's the card to pay for it with. Matter of fact, That's let's nuts. call grandma. Awesome, yeah, it was, bro. It was probably an hour after I had originally told her that and we... Sent it through. I feel like wow. Kinsey. Would, I feel like Kinsey would be like, okay, but what? You don't even know what you're getting. Yeah, the mystery. That's okay. So I told Derek multiple times on the drive here. We tried so much not to talk about it because yeah. there's so much we do want to talk about on this pod with him. There's so many things you could buy with ten thousand dollars, and the <clears> fact, <throat> and we'll get into that. We'll get into that soon, <laughs> duct tape boy. Because I got him on a specific ex assignment. That's why he's on today's pod. Did he know the assignment? Though? Yeah, he he understood oh, yeah. the assignment. <laughs> okay. I know. So <laughs> that's right. <laughs> oh yeah. So the fact that you had no idea what you're getting, you knew. I mean, you know the Guggen boys. They're not going to do yeah, you wrong. That, they're like they're like family to that's you. That's why everybody asked me like, "Is this a scam?" I was like, "I know, but right the Guggen." People like I've always just seen their work and their videos and it's yeah. like, everything's over the top. So I will say when we got him, I was like, I'm just letting you know, I haven't talked to the Guggen guys. The only person I've talked to is John B. Cause he called in on our first pod for this week. And I was like, yo, I'm thinking about flying this kid in. He was like, do it. I don't even think the Guggens know what they're going to do for these two people. There's two people and shout out to the other person we did not get. It's not because we don't love you. We well, just, that's what we we described in the beginning. Yeah, He's we the just one that split up. we just got the message and it was super fast. So, yeah. um, but it, anyway, I guarantee it's going to be worth your time and, and ten grand. But I have no idea. I have no idea. And there's there's honestly no telling because it is the Guggen Squad. Mm. Like they could do it. There, I don't even want to throw stuff out there. But I mean, there could be that's crazy. That's kind of what I've been imagining in my head. It's like what I could think of and what they could possibly do or. Two totally different. Who knows? Things. You might no have idea. you might have Flair be your personal chef for the next two years and just <laughs> catch him boat. cooking you I possums mean, and stuff. Dude. Oh, can I ask a um, a nice personal question? I gotta ask. 
Who is your favorite Guggen? Oh, I, oh, I have to know, bro. There we've been go. watching them for so, so long. So I did use Code Flare. Damn it! Oh, oh, really? Oh. Mute him! No <laughs> way! <laughs> Flare has too much money! Flare has too much money! No I, way! I, I did use Code Flare. Flare's watching this right now like, <laughs> shoot! <Wow. laughs> That's awesome. He's also wearing a Bucks shirt. Yeah, so yeah, I noticed that. I mean, we're not the only Yeah, one. we're the Bucks gang. Oh, here. damn. Yeah, Big Bucks guys, huh? But, okay. yeah. Shit, yeah. what are you? Dilf. <laughs> Skillf. <laughs> Skillf. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. But I, I have been watching like John B. the longest. I think he was the first one I got into. Yeah. I feel like that's all of us on the table. John B. is my first boy crush for sure. And quite a, for I, sure. I think it was just like a little tiny creek fishing mission. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. The little one dollar popper. Just hooked on it. Instantly. Yeah, man. Yeah, the little smallmouth videos like up north when you go walking those. Oh, yeah. Johnny boy, man. Old Make, it makes you want to actually get out there and do that. Uh huh. In in Missouri, who cares if it's <coughs> snowing at thirty two degrees? Well, my, I want to go fish a creek. Ooh. Listen, I <laughs> one of my one of my first uh, Brandon got me on John B before before we even started YouTube, and uh, it was the uh, series with him and Alex where they went out. With, never stop. Uh, never stop tour. The never stop tour. Yeah, it's a good yeah. one. It's a good one, man. Isn't that where they met Wes? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's where they yeah, met West West. is Crazy. unbelievable, bro. That's really cool, man. Um. So yeah, that's that's one of the first series, and I was like, what the. F they this were getting so after it. So sick. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but that's really, really cool. So uh, top three, go. Top three, Guggen. So he Ooh. said Flair's oh. number one. Flair's Flair. a heavy hitter right now, bro. Well, yeah, Flair's hard Flair. to compete with. It's like, he's, yeah. all, he's really in his own lane. I didn't expect yeah. it, though. You know, I wasn't expecting that out of him. I am interested in the top three, though. I'm I'm glad I'm that really we got the code. I I've, I didn't even think about I didn't even think that. about using a code. Yeah. So really, you spent nine grand. Yeah. Oh, that that's the deal. That's the That was a good part of it. Nine oh, grand. Just cut off a thousand. Fast. Yeah. That's <laughs> 10% <laughs> ten, ten off when so you true. use code Jiggin, Sick. but you could use code Flare too, if you want, so... <laughs> okay, even, top three, top three Googans. Top three, yeah. this is hard. It's like, I don't want to... Yeah, just like, you, you are going to see these guys, yeah. It's okay. They won't be offended. Well, just think, so far Definitely. we only okay. know that John lins, listens to the podcast. Yeah, and we already know. spoke highly about John, but, you know. See, top three as in, like, fishing or personality. Your, your you favorite. My, so, okay, favorite. okay, hold on. Fishing. Because you can do personality, two, two separate lists. And Let's do that. What's another category? Uh, the guy you want to go to the bar with the most. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. All right. So fishing, fishing first. first, top three and okay. fishing. Top three fishing. First being the best, second being the, and third. First, John B. John B. Fishing. Okay. Two, LFG. Yeah. Okay. Third, probably Rob. Okay. 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 Yeah. All, right. All right. All heavy hitters. Uh, All heavy hitters. What was the next one? Personality? Personality. Go ahead. Personality. Uh, Probably put Flair at one. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. he's good. He's he's Flair a good at one. one. Yeah, Tristan at two. Oh, I'm a good uh, one. Oh shit, go oh, guys! Yes, bro. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, shit. Okay. How about okay. that, Flair? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what now, Flair? <laughs> hey, we're completing dreams on the podcast. You're sitting right by Yo, your nose. I'm surprised. That was the last thing I expected him to say. Hey, you know what's funny is normally we'd be like anyone besides us, but we don't even consider ourselves no, good, no, so no, we didn't no, even think to say that. Oh, that was. Cool. But right, yeah, cool. you're number two. Sick, bro. Woo! <laughs> and third personality, just just to throw it out, AO fishing. Oh, okay. AO! Oh, hey, yo, 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 AO right yeah. now. He, dude, I'm telling you, He's that kid. It. Him him, and Davey Gravy are probably the two funniest to watch. I watched a video with them the other day, and he they launched the boat, and they, <laughs> Davey's trying to get it back to the boat. He's like, He's going backwards. Hello? Hey, mom. <laughs> Hey, do you want a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I just want to let you know if you want a sandwich or if you're actually going to do a catch and cook. <laughs> yeah, he was and doing a survival He's like, video, he's like right? dude, come over here. He's like, Ma, he doesn't want a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I was dying. That was so good. The Little Caesars at the beginning of that video yeah. made, yeah. made it so <laughs> I will tell you, man, I... We, uh, what's funny that you don't see, and this is what's cool because you're a viewer and um, we haven't really had to ha got to have these conversations with like a viewer that, like we don't know you. Mm -hmm. We've only literally met you for an hour and 10 minutes so far. Right. And most of the time we're like, we can't talk about that right now. Do you want Chick-fil-A? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, you know, like that was our conversation. And so what's, what's really interesting is to talk to you as a viewer and it's like, hey, yo, as a creator, like we talk a lot behind the scenes as creators. And let me tell you something, that kid, AO, he's going to be a top dog. It, he's already taking over. The, oh yeah, the he's itty lying. bitty, the itty bitty has been like so huge for him. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, that kid right there, if I had poker chips, I put them all in on him. Him alone. 
Yeah, Forget yeah. everybody else. Like everybody's gonna have their success in ways. That kid will win mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, for sure, dude. Yeah, he's flying. I love, I love right you, now. Ao. I love you, Ao. Just like, use yeah. code Ao too. <laughs> <laughs> or okay, no, he's uh, his gravy. Go to a bar with. Me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to a bar with. Just or, after the short hours of knowing you two, you you two oh, are one shit. and two. It's dangerous. I'll let you bro. fight over who's mm -hmm. one and two. That's dangerous, man. Tristan, <laughs> Tristan, one. you can go to the bar with him, but you just might not leave. <laughs> yeah, I'll say may not bring Tristan <laughs> out. <laughs> Tristan's a dangerous guy to bring to the bar. Yeah, I mean, one of our last podcasts, he got in a fight with a girl, and by got in a fight with a girl, a girl beat his ass at a bar. <laughs> it wasn't by choice. I was caught right i was just like caught so off guard this that's funny man this girl just beat me up for no reason <laughs> i was just sitting there i was waiting on my wife to come out of the bathroom and she just yeah. literally slings my ass across the dance floor yeah. she was big bro tristan's used to slinging his ass but not like not, not, not in yeah. Yeah. You know yeah. so yeah. it's a little different for him but i was very confused as what happened who and who did it I didn't That's know. That's crazy. I was looking around like, where's he at? Yeah. No, it was her. So <laughs> we're four days into this $10,000 endeavor you just embarked on, or I guess 9000 but technically it's $10,000 we'll in value. Sounds we'll cool. 10, so what has happened yet? Is there any, has there been a phone call that says, yo, welcome to Team Guggen. You're an official <laughs> no. paid member. Like, has any has anyone said what's going to happen yet, or is it just so new that they're no, like, I, we I, got I you, fam? Have nothing. Nothing. Wow. So you're just like sitting here, ten k got a receipt, waiting. He's got a receipt with nine Gs. I, on it. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he should have received at least a phone call. Like, wow, congrats. Well, there so was much. a lot of shares on well, yeah, yeah, on yeah, IG because sure. that's how we found you. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're like, what the fuck? Like this kid. Damn, I'm just really surprised that. There was no, no reach out. No, yeah. But but they do know. They know. Yeah. Because sure. John, I mean, immediately when we talked to John, and that was probably a day after you bought it. I'm not saying the specific Googans. I'm saying. No, but I'm saying like they know. So there, there's some there's something cooking in the back. No, I'm saying sure. on the back end, mm -hmm. not the Googan. The Googan shouldn't have called him. There should have been a direct phone call from someone at Googan HQ. Googan HQ yeah. saying, hey, we want to thank you so much. Yeah, we didn't even think that this was going to happen, so we're still figuring out the details, and it's going to be great yeah. for you. Do you think that they thought anybody was going to buy it? I don't it? know. Bro, when I saw the post on it, I was like, "Yeah, no way." I, There's no I way was, that'll sell. I was questioning it as well. I was like, "Oh, maybe I have like another week to actually decide on this." Yeah, you and know, what? you, you no. did. You just bought it. Yep. What's What's crazy too is he. Um, we said that there was two available because I, I remember seeing that. Yep. And he was like, "Yeah, at the time when I bought it, I didn't even know that." Like there was I, yeah, I had not even an idea that there was two of them. Yeah, because oh, he was like, God. I only added one to my cart. And okay, so said, uh, you can get a lot of things for $10,000. Oh, you we, can. we have a segment here. Yeah. This is the only reason Fnatic is on the pod. Why, uh, what, what <laughs> Other could, than his flight is later tonight. But <laughs> what could he have bought for $10,000? This is the assignment that I put him on. So there's quite a few things you can buy for $10,000 <laughs> think aside from this bundle. I think for, for each item, we should see if it was worth your 10 grand or not. Like okay, okay, if it okay. was, this what? one is one of my personal favorites and makes absolutely no sense, but you can have a desk made out of a Corvette. Damn. For $10, That's actually kind of custom bad. That's desk hot. Yeah. made out of a Corvette. That's hot. I would say a Chevy guy. I would have to say yes. Damn. Really? Wow. Okay. All right. So, wait, is it better than the Guggen button? That's what we're going to ask. Oh, okay. oh, no, no, no. Yeah. He was, he was like, hell no, not even a question. Okay. No. What about right. a real Corvette? That might be different. <laughs> <laughs> That's not it's on like an old ass rusty one. We're like, here. Yeah, see, have, you'd have to know what you're getting okay. into with right. that one. Yeah, that's okay, not so on my list. Yeah. Um, okay, <laughs> so the next is a rocking chair bed. A bed that literally rocks you to sleep. That's comfort. And it feels like you're in high seas or rolling waves. That's long term oh, comfort. That Wait, feels know. like get that for ten thousand dollars. Wait, it feels like you're what? Uh, rolling in the waves. Oh, I rocking get chair bed. Yeah, I, I think, think I would. Be I think I would pay ten thousand not to next. have to sleep in that. Next. Ew. All right. Next. Okay. You can literally buy a Hobbit home, an actual <laughs> house, uh, kind of like in Lord of the Rings. Tiny homes are wow. popping right now. They are. They you tiny, would know. Tiny homes are popping. You're a right big now. tiny home guy. What do you think? Tiny home or Google? I think mates? it'd be a good investment. I'm still going to have to go with the Guggen. Okay. Damn. No. And you know what's f***ed up? I need my space for those baits. Oh, shit. Okay. Mm. True. What's, what's 
fucked up is he really doesn't know what he's getting yet in the bundle. No. Nobody no. Say, he I, could I get could the be, damn Hobbit home. I could be getting just a shirt. I don't know. You could get a Guggen. <laughs> just, just can you There's nine grand. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no, no. You know how Whistling Diesel has yes, this shirt that says yes. this shirt costs one thousand dollars and he actually sells it for a thousand dollars on his oh, site. What if he gets god. a shirt from Guggen that says this shirt costs nine thousand dollars because I used a coat player? Yeah. Oh Bro, my god. That, they wouldn't do that to you. I don't want to sound like we're shit talking to Guggens. I love those boys, but that's pretty funny. All right. The next is a water thrusting jet bike you know i love thrusting so a water thrusting jet bike is perfect describe and, uh, so you get the thrill of a motorcycle while jetting on the waters of your favorite lake or beach oh man Ten thousand. can i see the picture of this uh there's i don't have a picture for you uh, he no. didn't come that prepared no, no he didn't understand that <laughs> part of this <laughs> that, that, no. that was the extra credit all right i wrote description Google bundle you still going with google bundle still going with okay google. okay next what okay. do we got gold pills Pills made out of 24 karat gold that you can swallow and they have no health benefit to and them. And you shit them out. Uh, yep. And it's a... Uh, gold yeah. shit nuggets, pretty much. Dude, that's got to be a badass vlog, though. And you... No, I it actually... out solid It gold. actually says you pooped no. out solid gold. No. Searching for treasure mm. <laughs> in my toilet bowl, gold nuggets found. I that's what it, I'm I saying. I think you should be searching for gold treasure in your pants. Oh damn! The viewers got to come up with our titles, bro. I, yeah, my that pants. was really good. I, Gold nuggets discovered. Yeah. <laughs> so, damn, I could go off on a tangent right there. Go ahead. You could actually also go to the Olympics for that price. That's a pretty oh, that's interesting one. Go, yeah, I'll pass. On. Go to or be a part of. Oh, uh, uh, go go to. Okay. Like and sit like right there. It's like, do most people actually know what Olympic sports are actually going on, or is it just? What I feel is? like it's a yeah. throw up. I don't yeah, know. I feel like when the Winter Olympics goes on, it's. For like ever though, I feel like it's always yeah. the Winter Olympics somewhere. For yeah, some I, I really don't know. Yeah, I you enjoy can, some things in the Olympics, but what ahead. do you think, Banger Bass? All right. Okay. Next. Would you also put it all on red? Oh shit! Oh, Ten. That's now that's, that's, a, that's, a, hey, that's, a, good that's a good question. Yeah. Oh, I mean, you don't have oh. to put it on red. It could be black, oh. but uh, but actually, you'll just be. Oh, sorry. You'll just be on now. Okay. Um. That's a good question. So, after showing you guys my truck, what do you guys think? Oh, f well, it had. What does it okay, look like? So, What's truck? What type of truck is it? He drives a pretty nice truck. Okay, give me a Chevy Trail Boss. Oh, it's a nice truck. Really? She's Where? she's red rims. she's white. Yeah, red rims. Red rims, red grill, Damn. but like tastefully done, yeah, not like yeah. Crayola. Like, red. Badass. like it's it's. So nice. my favorite color is red. So oh, okay, like, I wouldn't Shit. put it past my. You got a red watch on, my boy. Oh, okay, this is good. I'm liking it. What do you think? I you, I wouldn't put it past me. So you would okay. now. This is interesting because you're talking about ten grand. You get zero, or you get twenty grand. Mm -hmm. That's the options there, or you get the Guggen bundle, which who who. Who knows? You might not get anything. There could be a, just a red Corvette because they heard this, <laughs> you know? Maybe they do. <laughs> Damn, we could be setting you up for success. Maybe he wants a red Corvette. What year? What year, Corvette? Probably just one of the new ones. Yeah, like, probably like a 2022 the... red Corvette with a Guggen license plate. That'd be Guggen sick. wrap. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah. Damn. Red interior. Damn. Now you got to go green interior. You know, John's a big car guy. He probably, mm -hmm. you know, he does listen to the pod, Johnny boy. Just saying. Red Guggen wrapped. All right. So those, okay, uh, go uh, ahead. Uh, well, you could also buy 714 Pixie Sticks for $10,000. That's 714? Yeah, only 714. I feel like that's not a lot what? of Pixie no. Sticks. Or maybe that's crazy. the big ass ones. Still, though. Let's see how much that Wait, is. Wait, that piece. mathematics doesn't work. It, it, that is it. That is, I mean, it says mean, a lot of people have talked about you it. You can't go to Sam's Club and buy those in bulk? Guess not. Huh. Only 714 for $10,000. That's 10000 He bought... Wait, it's so crazy that I just in my head irrationalized that it was a thousand dollar bundle and instead of was, ten thousand. Yeah, but that's only fourteen that the, dollars the, piece. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I would never have a pixie stick. Fourteen dollar for a pixie uh, stick? Not, not a small pixie stick, like the big. Have you guys seen those before? No. Oh, they're really cool looking. I got a picture of actually. It that better one. be really cool. It's fourteen dollars for a sugar cane. That's a box, bro. Yeah. It's How like many the, individuals is in that box? He's looking at a fucking box. I'm going to say, there's no way individual. Exactly. Be. It's a massive box. I mean, I don't think box. you can buy an individual pixie stick. No, how many pixies are in this box right here? Is scam likely? Can we answer it? Yeah, yeah you, can, you can answer it. Hello? Insta 
es una llamada importante del centro de coberturas Dude, Why are you pointing at me? Is anybody? I've been trying to learn Spanish, bro. I think I got this. I heard that was, that was definitely heard German. Two. German? <laughs> no, I heard the word. Too. Ich habe Brandon. Wie hast du? That's German. Oh, they, have that. they don't like Germans. That's that's pretty messed up. So uh, the, I think the only thing we got a like affirmative yes to was put it all on red. Right. So oh. you're are you a gambling guy? Obviously you are. You put ten thousand yeah, dollars on green. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shit. You said, yeah. You like? Hey, that was good, right? That was good. Thanks. I don't know. Yeah. Thanks. That's pretty it's good. Like 50, 50. Yeah, that's pretty wild, man. So what are what are you most excited about with this? You think? Like I was telling you guys, uh, it's not even like the object type stuff. It's just actually getting to meet these guys that I've been watching since <coughs> I was 14, 15 years old. True. Boom. Oh, wow. Leads That's me, it. segues me to my next point. It is so insane. Who's your favorite like actor in a movie right now? Do you have one? Oh, on the spot. Probably. I've always liked Will Ferrell movies. Okay. Oh, cool. Great, okay. Yeah. If he came up with something for $10,000, would you buy it? Probably not, no. Okay. okay, all right. This is exactly where I wanted you. <laughs> this is what's crazy, Tristan. There we go. Hmm. Someone that's an A-lister like Will Ferrell, he's familiar with the content. When a movie comes out that has Will Ferrell, he's like, I'll probably go watch that. Yeah, it's probably pretty funny. Probably pretty good. He mm -hmm. knows what he's yeah. getting. He makes good movies. He sees Thanks, people on the internet that are making videos. Constantly. Can connect with them. This is my theory. You don't know who Will Ferrell is. You know who his characters are, and you have a general idea of like his kind of personality based on those characters. So you can like view that a little bit. But with someone like Flair, you know who Flair is. Like you Deep get a down. real authentic mm -hmm. feel for Flair. There's so many like into windows into his life, even though it's just on YouTube. Every square his inch. real life, I'd say, is probably ninety eight percent. I'd say 90. 90? Yeah. I'd give it like a 92.5. Okay, sick. 92.5. But you really get a feel with who Flair is, right? And uh, for the rest of the Guggen squad, I'm just using Flair as an example because he used the damn code. Jeez. <laughs> Flair's like, ching. <laughs> um, but it brings me to this point. There's something about YouTube and watching a creator that would put you in a position where like, you feel like you know them so well that you would be willing to put ten thousand dollars out there on a opportunity to interact with these people that like you have some emotional connection to over like the years 100%. i mean you're, you're 23 now mm -hmm. you've been watching since 14 or 15 that's a lot of time man yeah, it's good eight years what, right do, what do you think it is like this is where it's cool that you're a viewer and like we get to talk to you like in this way like what do you think it is about someone that you watch that makes you feel so connected or like willing to put your wallet out there, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you brought it to the point, like you said, he's probably like 90% putting his entire life out there for yeah. just people to watch. There's critics does out it, there that may not like what he does. You've grown up with them. Sorry to like, interrupt, right. but does it feel like when you're watching these videos, does it feel like you're kind of going on those adventures with them or is it like oh i want to go try this now that they have done this they've showed me this opportunity or is it a little bit of both i'm um, quite honestly it's a little bit of both like yeah. the one of the guggen channels that like describes some of the lures and teaches you how to fish those certain things like i may not have even thought of that while yeah. using guggen baits right so it's mm. like next once i watch that i can go out and just try that next time or see what works see what doesn't True. work and then like back to the guys like it, it's it's cool to see that even you guys i associate you guys with Guggen. Yeah. yeah you guys are yeah it makes sense cool. they're they're like our internet friends right. like we don't have like real business ties together but like we love those guys we've right. watched them grow so mm -hmm. we share a lot of the same feelings about those guys to be honest with you so like even just knowing you guys for the short amount of time like it's cool to see that you're actually who you are off mm -hmm. camera as well right. mm -hmm. and cool. that's what i don't think most people realize is you guys have lives too yeah. you guys yeah. are genuine you mm -hmm. guys are funny like it's not just for the internet. It's not just for the money. Like you guys yeah. are who you're putting yourself out there to be. Right. And I feel like that from a viewer standpoint, it connects because if I bumped into you at Walmart, I'm gonna be like, Oh my God, Jacob with Jordan. And you're yeah. not going to know who I am. Right. But for those eight years of my life, I have watched you. I know who you are. It's crazy. And that it's like, really deep, dude. I'm just starting to hear up. <laughs> <about me>. like, <laughs> for those 
thousands of hours you just learn. Yeah. And that's just what life is about is just continuing to learn and just everything else. Damn. That's really cool. But wow. I, I would say like, you know, Tristan mentioned earlier that I put him on John B's video. So mm-hmm. like I watched the Guggen's like pre- pretty, I actually watched Flair the least back in the day. Like yeah. my two favorites were John B and AP. Yeah. yeah. And, um, but now Flair is like, we, well, we love all the guys. We actually like, it's crazy that we went from watching them on the screen to being inspired into like being their friends. And then like, it's a, it's a f- weird <laughs> circle in, in our heads, but it's crazy because I felt the same way, um, about John and AP specifically. And I always told Tristan when we watched, I was like, yo bro, like we could literally be the John and AP of this water stuff. Like we're best friends off camera, started doing the diving shit together. Now, mind you, like we wouldn't have ever had this opportunity without Jake who like we love so dearly. Um, but Tristan and I have also like had like a different relationship as far as like we cheer together and stuff like that. But we watched all the Googans and kind of felt tied to them as well. To the point where like Rob reached out to me and like invited me to the MTB crib. You remember the old MTB oh, yeah. crib way oh, back in the cool. day? Yeah, I mean, it, there's just so many uh, of the same feelings that that we had. So it's kind of it's kind of cool to hear that like affirmed by other viewers. Like imagine like across the span of those guys, there's millions of people. Yeah. And a lot of people are really probably feeling that. And the fact that like I- any creator could have that effect. I mean, mm-hmm. even like you, you have viewers that probably feel the same way. At no. least seven. Yeah. It's eight, it's five, <laughs> five, maybe. maybe no, but I, but you know what I'm saying? Isn't that like crazy? Like, yeah, as a, cre- because before you were a creator, you were a, a viewer. No, no, no. Not only before I was a creator, I would go, I went to Guggen's meet and greets. I went, I went, I went specifically, I drove, okay, so I drove to the Bassmaster Classic, and my mom drove me there when I was like 14, uh, drove to Arkansas to meet them at that Walmart, uh, met them at a paintball place in Fort Worth when Dude, I was you, fans, you met these and then guys a lot. I was just with John the other day, right? Yeah. So I'm sitting here I, like, that's <clears throat> crazy. I met you at the Guggen HQ Open. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. where y'all met. Yeah. 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 And like, we Ooh. really got along like deep. Um... About eight that, inches deep. Yeah, not that, not that, not that long. No, like, that was <laughs> that's smaller. Uh, but no, that is where we met. Yeah, but uh, yeah, dude, it was, it, to think about that is crazy. It's and now wild. to know that there's other people in that position. Like I've met people who watch our videos that are very similar to how you're speaking about it. And I'm like, dude, that's nuts. And now we're friends, right? Yeah. Like uh, Aaron. Like there's a kid named Aaron who. D- yeah. He. DM me. He drove all the way up from uh, Louisiana. Loves the videos. And he was like, dude, I'm like in your area. And I responded to the DM. I was like, come over. And now he's like our friend. That's crazy. <laughs> and That's uh, cool. yeah, dude, it's a, it's nuts to think about it like that. But I, what I did want to talk about is you like fishing, right? Big no, fisherman. Not at all. Oh, all right. So I, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I guess it's you not see really this kid's thing. Instagram. It's dude, I haven't even seen it yet. Sally's, okay. So a bass, right? Okay. So what's your best fishing moment? That's a hard one. Oh, though. your best fishing moment? Moment. I mean, probably just last month when I caught my PB. Damn. What was it? Six, nine, six. Damn, oh, there you go. Not a bad one at all. Nah, no, it's not no 14 pounder like John B, but Yo, okay. nobody can six compare nine. to that guy right now. 696 is a great number. 696. Six, six, That's his password on his phone, 6969. Six, 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 <laughs> it is. That's I, crazy. I've got a question for you. So, um, when even before Guggen, and I watch YouTube a lot, still, YouTube is my form of entertainment. Some people watch Disney Plus, some people watch this and that. I watch YouTube. I just find different things mm-hmm. I like on YouTube, and I've been on YouTube. I've started, I've been on YouTube since <laughs> I mean, a long time. Oh long, long time. But when I watch people, it made me want to film. Do you, are you thinking about doing YouTube at all, or have you ever thought about it or tried it? No, not really. It's no. not. I love that, to hear that. That's cool. Not your thing. Never hear that answer. So, so like, trust me. If I had everything perfect, people would teach me how to do it. Wouldn't mind trying it, but just me on my own. I've never really had that ambition to force myself to do it. Really, right? Okay. Like, because I'm a real perfectionist. So, like, if I don't get the shot I wanted of right. a certain fish, I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, that whole f- film and ways. videos ruined yeah. yeah damn that's yeah. What I, I don't think we w- i would not have started a youtube channel without that class yeah we had a class project it, like literally we had to do it for homework um, jake helped us out what so what do you do for a living yeah i was gonna, oh, I was gonna say this is gonna be a great yeah. time to go into that so i am currently an assistant manager at panera bread in 
back home. Damn. Really? Ladies Are and gentlemen, Fanatic, it's time to cook up some bread, my boy. Bro, because you got to get that you bread. Were say something crazy this whole time. No. That's awesome. And you just dropped 10K on the Guggen bundle. Drop 10K. Damn. Do you like Panera? I mean, is that like a. I mean, you want to continue working there or level uh, up? There's a lot of opportunities to move up. So, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't. Yeah. I, I can't picture myself doing Good anything benefits. differently. Uh, oh, sure. Do you view it as a career or a job right now? A uh, career. Career. Sick. Really? I like to awesome, hear people bro. that are like dialed in and know like exactly. Because sometimes you know when you're at a place, you're like, oh, this is a job, but I'm looking for this or yeah. whatever. Like, this is my career. So that's kind of cool. You already know that. And like, it, it's not the most flashy job, but like, it allows me to go fishing it allows me to get off of work to come meet you guys yeah. like, you know oh. yes also forgot like, that what, that's a good what point job you took off. are you gonna be yeah. able to go to florida yeah. the next day after getting a yeah. direct message and then what did, he what was did like you a, think he did yeah to that's, be honest I, when i saw his truck welder when oh damn i thought it was welder that's yeah. a good one when i saw his truck i definitely thought like he worked for an off-road yeah, I, I I thought something like I don't know why I just I don't either I was fooled, but that no that's good that's that's cool. good that's really awesome man I think uh, and it, it, it's it's cool like just to see what people can have as a job and still do all this. Dude, cool there's stuff. so many different right? ways to it's make like money. You don't it's have about to have how the you go flashy about it. Right? Jobs you don't have yeah. to make the hundred thousand dollars a year. Like, yeah, you don't. That's such a good point. Like I, it, it is, and a lot of people spend way too much, and then it ends up just not working out, and they're just complaining all the time. I mean, bro, what? you're wor working at Panera Bread as an assistant manager, I have the potential to move up, and you just dropped like nine k on a Guggen bundle. It's sick. One of my favorite people is uh, one of my best friends. His name's Hudson, and Hudson is so good at funding his hobbies and that is happiness mm -hmm. so like he's not a money chaser but he will chase money to attain his goals if that makes sense mm -hmm. and i love that about him and i think that that mindset is super cool because when you get money you always need more money or whatever right like when when tris and i were sharing a two bedroom apartment with three people. And now I have a whole house. Like now I'm still looking at stuff in my house. Like, okay, I need to change this or whatever. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm grateful, but no matter what you have, you always want to bump it up. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I think it's very cool to have like the Hudson mindset in a way where it's like, as long as I can get these few things that make me happy, forget the rest. Like that's what I think that's it. That's a really well, cool mindset. It's just, everybody has a different avenue and a different way of thinking a different yeah. way of life. I love it. And uh, that's really cool. A I really never common that. perspective I've seen that I do a lot of the time. I started doing like a year ago. Like we'll go on, say, you know, we want to go on a trip to like Costa Rica or whatever. And I'm sitting there and I'm like, damn, like that's a lot of money. Yeah. I always think you can't take it with you. You can't take your money with you when you mm. die. Yeah. I mean, you might as well spend it on a memory. So like now you can be like, well, I spent it. That sucks. But like, this is what I was doing. Yeah. So I'm assuming that's a lot of your mindset as well. Right. And it's like, I've seen a lot of people, like you said, chase the money and then it, their life ends up just well, it's like solely you don't around to, work. You, you don't yeah. get to spend That's a good point, That's dude. True. That's it. That's true too. That's wow. It's pretty crazy. It's like revelations up here, man. Wow. <laughs> there was a, there was a thing on TikTok that they were like, they, they did a study at a uh, old folks home. I know this is way off topic, but they did a study with the old folks home for like years. Yeah. And they always asked these older people, like, what are five things that you, if you, uh, you could like give some advice? This is like on their deathbed. I've okay. seen, I know what you're talking about. And like, one was like, don't work so hard. And it's like, not necessarily don't work your butt off, but it's like, you're don't. taking that advice home. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, no, no, no. That's why I heard that. Down, no. Shit, it's like, it's people, like, I think they were talking about like the people that work into like their 60s, 70s. And yeah, it's yeah. like, don't work so hard. Like right, right, that's right. the time where you should be, you know, I don't know. But one, one of the other ones was like, I don't know, some other cool shit that well then it's say. like you're missing those memories you could have made right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so well a lot yeah. of people are like you know work really hard when you're nowadays it's like work really hard when you're young and that way when you're older you have a good time i'm like but when you're younger is when you want to have a good time that's when you enjoy those yeah you know, right so it's like you know work really hard so you can enjoy your 40s and 50s i don't want to enjoy my i mean well, I who says that i'm gonna make it that far you right? know what okay <laughs> i have something that's very scary that i want to i i just want to get an opinion on well first of all to attest to that when you're, it's really hard to hike a beautiful mountain when you're 65, I assume, versus yeah. 28. Exactly. Right? Yeah. 
Like, so that's the, that's, that's the that's perspective. So uh, this is just like a grown people situation here. So I, I, I uh, had to invest into a retirement plan, which by the way, you can't get that money till you're 65. And in our line of work, like, who's to say I make it? So like, yeah, is I that just be gone? You know what I mean? 65 yeah. is like up there, man. I mean, there's, yeah. definitely, there. there's definitely uh, maybe better things you could have done. Yeah. Like yeah. maybe just like put in a safe and or like, like a Roth a IRA. I could have just yeah. bought Google bundle, bundle, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I mean, yeah. That, I mean, I'm gonna be honest. That's just now that now that you bought that bundle and like I've hung, I've got to hang out with the Googans before. I'm like, dude, that's ten thousand dollars of value, my boys. <laughs> <laughs> it's that's kind of crazy. crazy. I, I I am so I cannot tell you how excited I am to. I see. say we have him on after he gets right, bro, right oh, to come shit. back. <laughs> Let's have him like, on what again. What did you get? That Damn, way we can plan the trip. This yeah, time. we'll plan it so you don't. <laughs> Bounce around the Bro, country to get here, right? I'm excited. So, like, I hope they fly him out because he'll be down the street from me if they if uh, they do. Oh yeah, because he's in Texas. He's I'm not far right from down you. the road from him. Yeah, yeah. He has a podcast too, dude. That would be nuts yeah. if they. Ah, oh, that'd be so sick. You can see cool. my molded alpacas. Yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. like, what? I have alpacas with molds. They look like George Washington. <laughs> uh, but uh, I don't know why. Ever, you, have you ever ridden one? You know, I've tried. Paul tried to mount one, and uh, it kicked him. Mm. So you said mount. Yeah, he tried to hop up and just mount that baby gill, and uh, you know. Didn't, well, uh, if because there, that's one thing Flair has not done, ridden his alpaca. That's a valid point. Yeah. Did he ride the camel? I saw I he cut he, the nuts I off. I think he got close. I requested a catch and cook on the nut, and he said he can't because uh, it was like a kitten. The kitten, kitten did. He's got a kitten. He got a cat. Don't people eat uh, the nuts? Yeah, but this Real one quick. had like tranquilizer stuff in it. Goodness there. gracious! Uh, what uh, what is something that you like? Obviously, you said. Um, what is what is something that you would be so stoked on? Like I know you're really uh, excited to like meet them and stuff like that. But set a, is there anything specific you would like to do or 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 want? Really, just honestly, just go fishing with them. Yeah. yeah. Fire. Well, well you know, we flew you down here because we actually have the Googans. We <laughs> right. We raise <laughs> it. Could you imagine? Holy that would be shit. so in, sick. In my head this whole time, I wanted to like move say that bus. I wanted to say that. <laughs> I wanted to say that, but I didn't want to like get it. Says only on All right, boys, podcast. come in. Come in, boys. All that right, come on, crazy. guys. Blair, you're first. No, you should have got off brand. Oh <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> Lift it up. Bro. Damn. Like, here, here's your $5,000 bundle. Oh. <laughs> Damn. That's actually pretty funny. That would be good. Funny. So hey. would the off brand ones be like, Lojo, Ao. No, 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 I'm no, 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 with Ao at a bar, or wait, Ao was somewhere. She Ao was the personality. Personality. personality, personality, yeah. There, there you go. There you go. Oh, dude, if I could hop on a boat with Ao and Davy Gravy just for, <laughs> na- for an dude, afternoon, I want to oh. do that too. Dude, it'd be hilarious. That's funny. Yes, that is funny. <laughs> I imagine if we did have the off-brand Googans just like so lookalikes, that, like, like uh, that was his assignment to, yeah. to find. I could have done it, man. I could have made it happen. I know, dude. I would have gone to all local places around here. And be like, you, I need you. Oh my god, that would have been so oh. good, man. I, oh, I have a question. So this is kind of um, mm, this is interesting. So you have watched. Um, you've watched Guggen for a long ass time. Mm-hmm. It sounds like a, as long as we have. Like you've yeah. seen the a lot of people are that watch us. I assume are familiar with Guggen because they're never commenting like who the f- you guys keep talking about. Right. I think they're pretty right. familiar. We share kind of the same audiences. What you've seen the evolution. What has that been like for a viewer? Because we have a little distorted view because we've kind of known stuff before it's happened. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. watching them all, did you ever see all of them as individuals before becoming Guggen Squad? Or was it Guggen Squad when you started watching them? Um, like I said, I, I noticed John and Flair kind of doing their own two things. And okay. of course, AP came along with John. Yep. yep. But while watching them, I had no idea who... LFG was. I okay. had no idea who Rob was. Okay. And we all started once off with they the same started too. like that that house. Yep. The MTB yeah. MTB crew. Then I finally put the 
puzzle pieces together and like, oh, right. these guys have something here. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then from there, they get Guggen HQ. Well, did you mm-hmm. follow everybody once you knew who the solid Guggens were? What was that again? Sorry, I got Star Wars in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> once you figured out that they were all like Team Guggen, did mm-hmm. you follow all the rest of the guys? Like just keep that up you, with them? That you hadn't watched yet. Oh, yeah. So basically we went Guggen... Guggen, no, it wasn't Guggen yet. It was Guggen, then MTB Crib, kind of at the same time. And then it was Guggen HQ. And then all of this stuff just happened so fast with the baits. No, it was, they formed Guggens. They right. get the house. <clears throat> then that's when the baits started coming. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because I remember right at the end. Oh, the, the baits house. were happening at that the house we picked up the first we yeah tris and i are actually the very first people in the united states to hold one of the guggen bags it was empty it was a prototype bag <laughs> lunkers he told me before he went by rob turkley he went by lunkers tv and he's like send me a picture of what's in the mailbox and if you show anyone i'm gonna before kick your ass. he went by rob turkley no he goes by I still call him. Did I say it, did I say it backwards? Yeah, I don't know what. Yeah, he's you, transitioned I, from <laughs> Trunkers TV to Rob Turkle. Man, Bro, John, you know what I was saying? I think John John the used to last be fishing man in the Midwest. Transition. Dude, remember? John was no, fishing no, in the Midwest. No, Sean B was JoJo Bars Thirty Three. Oh, he was. Do you dude, remember that old shit? School. Yeah, I remember Holy that. Holy fuck! See, no, I don't remember. I was yeah. fishing the Midwest for John. Yeah, yeah I saw right. JoJo Bars. John B was JoJo Bars Thirty Three because he fucked up his username and password, did him backwards. <laughs> Which is a pretty John B thing. <laughs> we need funny. to write that down and talk to him about that because that's pretty yeah. funny. Damn. Yeah, so fishing the Midwest, now it's John B, John B rolling, pretty much the god of B roll. And yeah. but Lunkers was Lunkers TV. Lunkers TV. Mm-hmm. Then it went to Titty Turkla. And then now it's Rob Turkla. It went to Titty Turkla? Well, we called him Titty Turk. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I don't even know if there was an answer to my question, but how I, I guess I'll preface it this way. As a viewer, how has the evolution been and where do you think it goes from here? Or do you think it's just like now it's everybody just cruises? Because for me, like, I don't, I mean, can it get any What's bigger? Next? I mean, what the fuck? They start what, what making Guggen now? boats. Like, what the fuck happens next? I well, mean, that, that's that a good idea. A, in, the, in the little description, it said like reels. So. Yeah, I, I know. I figured with the rods that there would probably be reels. Yeah, that that's not, that doesn't surprise me as much. It's very exciting though, because I can't wait to see what what their concept is there, dude. But a Guggen boat. I mean, a bo- I could see that happening. I a could boat? see a Guggen kayak easy. Oh yeah. Or they they had like pants and shoes also in the. Oh dude, okay. I mean in the description. Off the pod, I can tell you some crazy shit that's going down. But well, there we go. I don't think we can drop exclusive Guggen products <laughs> Who's on, on, here? on the pod. <laughs> I mean, who's going to stop us? <laughs> <laughs> I got a picture I can show him. Of, of I mean, you I got, got a, a picture I can show him too. But I've got a I didn't know it's that kind of party. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> what kind of pictures you got? I, no, but I do I do want to I do want to tell a quick story. Oh, shit. Uh, literally okay. the other day, so we were having a garage sale out of my house and okay. one of the neighborhood kids came and bought my fishing pole. So I knew he was just a little kid. Yep. I was like, okay, well, I have a Guggen tackle wall in my basement. I should probably go give him some baits for the pole. So I walked over there, had two hands full of Guggen baits. Yeah. And he just looked at them like they were golden. Damn. Dude, I... Like, he... he, I remember just going to Walmart and kind of getting just other baits, like just buying the dollar spinner baits, Mm -hmm. whatever. Right. But, like, it's something about getting that green and black package that just, it's different. And this kid, his eyes blew up, ran in the house screaming, like, they're Guggen baits. Like, yeah. it's, it's just a That's different level. About it. Wow. That needs to be a sound bite, God damn it, Guggen. Clip that. Someone clip hey, that. Guggen, you're more than welcome to use that sound bite. You give us 50% of that $10,000. <laughs> no, seriously, imagine that. That's what, that's what I was getting at when I said, like, what is that like viewer to th- that is crazy the fact that like will ferrell he's like mm, watch the movies do like them but guggen baits he's like yes. that's a f- moment when you when you buy your first guggen bait that's a f- <clears throat> moment how did that happen and it's like i remember buying my first soft plastics like it was tr- right trench hog 
Bandito Bug, and then Kraken Crawl. Oh, you're you're talking about buying your first Guggenbaits. Well, the the story was about the neighborhood kid. That was literally just like last week. But I do, yeah yeah vividly remember buying my first Guggenbaits on wow online. Yeah, because for me, I'm I'm a Florida kid, so I'm a pond hopper by heart. Like mm-hmm. when I the first time I fished on a boat, I didn't really understand like how to fish at depth mm-hmm. because I'm used to like casting the banks and ripping like buzz baits and shit and watching the fish come from the pads and. So like I had to learn a lot of different shit, but when I was fishing as a kid and I bought specific baits, I bought them based on looks, not based on who was selling them. And I think that's what flipped a little bit. Dude, it's crazy, right? Yeah. Now you go in there, you're like, ah, I mean, I I see that one. It might even, it might just look better, but like that's Guggen. I'm getting Guggen. it, It pains me to buy something different from Bass Pro Shop. Oh, yeah. Wow! See, like that Almost energy. Almost feel like a traitor, right? Oh yeah. my gosh! But now, dude, they're even like, just taking over the aisles. Like, oh he, yeah, no, dude. no, no. Here's what's even better. You know who feels that heat? Everyone else in the aisle. And guess what color they're turning? Black oh, and green, dude. baby. Yeah, dude, did you see? They're like lo- taking over, bro. Lose, lose is literally lose, lose. I don't yeah. fish no more. So lose. there's no partnership <laughs> here. I have no. I'm not married to any company. But I will say, I noticed that shit started to turn black and green all over the f-ing place. Did you yeah. notice that? The the backpacks that we have right there, the yeah. Guggen backpack tackle boxes, Luz has the same f-ing thing that came out like a month after, right? It's crazy. Well, they have a they have a, a combo. Uh, <clears throat> They're making baits. Yeah. Finesse. Yeah. Did you see the f-ing baits? Well, I'm saying the finesse combo. No. That's They're black and green. They're making f-ing baits, dude. And get, f- it. guess who they have on the bait? Who? Kicking their bass. No way. Kicking their bass's brand is on the bait. And this is no hate to kicking their bass. I just think it's crazy that people that look down on the Googans. Before. Look down on the Googans before. I don't know what their relationship is now. But I'm saying people saw what is winning. And now where they are literally blueprinting that shit. They're like, okay, these creators created a moment where a kid at a garage sale is looking at this package of black and green Guggen baits like it's gold. And now these companies got to play catch up games where they're like, shit, we need to find a creator to push our shit and make it a moment. Because at the end of the day, the old way of fishing was... Fishing lures bought fishermen. Mm, I know what you mean. Man. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Like looks, like a look of a fishing lure, that got that fisherman. But now it is who sells the baits and the story behind them. Who are Dude, you supporting? Guggen has obviously no. cultivated something. No, 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 no. What do you mean no? No. What are you talking about? No. No. Go for it. Prove me wrong here. This is how the old ways worked. Professional fishermen sold baits you having that lose That's, on yeah. your chest and to, being on to tv who? listen being on tv you had to be on tv you had to be a professional fisherman mike iconelli Googans, kevin van Dam. i understand Googans, who the f- were they selling to Every fisherman in the world. Not kids. Well, yeah, that's the thing with that. Right, not like, kids. But what I'm, what, that's what the f- I'm saying. Well, then what, what's your point here? The no, Googans. bitch, I'm not done. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is the Googans made it, hey, we're not perfect. A Googan is someone that doesn't know how to fish. That is true. But I don't they, think he's counterpointing anything I said. No, I, what I'm saying is, is <laughs> all I was saying was in the beginning, the people that were selling baits Correct. were the companies going to these professional fishermen and you had to be on TV. There was no social media. That's why they got left in the dust whenever these kids are saying, hey, you got to vlog. You got to be a vlogger and you got, that's how you sell shit. Go in. Hey, you that's know what's what crazy? Saying. I don't even think they knew that that's what the plan was. <laughs> Well, that's what, but, <laughs> but they, it worked and it's a beautiful, And that's bro. the Guggen takeover. <laughs> yeah, bitch. Now, what do you got to say? I was agreeing with Tristan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you were what, like, the baits have to look good and no, that's how they no, sell. But honestly, like when you walk into an aisle, it was like, what do I think the fish will bite? Right? Is that not true though? I'm yeah, not, that, I'm that not going. A lot of points yes, to I would agree. Uh-huh. But so if Kevin Van Dam had was on his name package. on it or this guy back in the day before Guggen Squad, before social media shit. You'd be like, oh, I gotta go with the, what the f-ing pro uses. Yeah, he. Yeah, I see, there, his, I see his point. I, I okay. definitely see it goes both ways there okay. for sure. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now. I've looked at lures and I was like, oh, I like that one. Or like, dude, I would I would find colors that I liked, not that like, I didn't know that whole like, green pumpkin and clear water shit. I was like, this is a bubblegum pink trick worm. That's pretty f-ing cool. Yeah, like I would grab that. 
as a kid. But now kids are seeing Guggen Bates, and not even just kids. Like he's a f- adult. Hey, dude, what's f- crazy is that shit actually works. No, it is good. I'm not gonna no, lie. No, they're Your great. Stuff is dude, fire. someone commented uh, when I did the Guggen wall. They were like, everybody knows those Bates are ass. So I was like, actually, they're pretty. F- top tier and Dude. i'm not just being that guy yeah when i when i take people fishing with me yeah. i purposely tie on these baits for them yeah because they're, like, they're gonna catch stuff holy shit yeah, yeah now you just take them out and be like Bro. yeah i mean these are my best friends who are you <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, <laughs> like I literally like the first time i ever got to fish with the with the um crack and crawl or whatever yeah. it is yep. we couldn't even put it in our videos oh, i remember yeah. it swung into the camera and i had to blur it out yeah i didn't even know how to blur it out you know what's what's <laughs> crazy? but I, we were Killing fish, bro. I'm not killing fish. We didn't kill it. <laughs> we were catching so many fish. You're next, big <laughs> ass. We You're were f- next. <laughs> we were catching so many fish, and I was like, "Wow, this like really does work." That's Dude. pretty crazy, man. It's pretty crazy. Uh, Just oh, the idea of it. I, I got a question for you. What's uh, your favorite? What's your favorite bait of all time? Just in general, and then like, what's your favorite Guggen product bait? I guess. Uh, favorite bait all time, probably just spinner bait. Spinner bait. What I grew up yeah. throwing, Guggen bait all time, probably the trench hog. Yeah, trench hog. Yeah, that's a f- yeah, that's I've caught one of my biggest fish from trench mm-hmm. hog. I, I will say, like, there's a lot of hype behind the bandito bug. Are you a big bandito bug user? I don't find myself I've, using. I've, it I've used much. it a good amount. You have? Yeah, I've used it a lot, and yeah. I've absolutely crushed the fish on. Like it. right <laughs> now, that in Missouri, it's getting a little warmer towards spawn and everything. Oh my god, did those fish haven't spawned yet? No. Oh, these fish, oh, are, you're about to these have so fish have been done for like two, no. three months? Yeah. Whoa. They're they're just now starting to hit a little bit of top water. Mm. Wow. That's crazy. Fire. That's pretty wild. So Damn. yeah. Yeah, so uh you already know the white crack and crawl, dude. On the beds. Mm-hmm. Tits money, bro. <laughs> Tits money. Well what I, I caught that that Preach. big bass on was the grass hero swim jig and then the rattle and chunk trailer nice. on it. Nice. Dude's nice. got it locked. Like it's my, knew, knew the exact combo. <laughs> Damn. Do you use code Flair to buy them bitches too, huh? <laughs> Quite honestly, probably. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> he did. No wonder. Flair's buying So, are, okay, are you are you buying most of your stuff online or are you going to stores? Or a little uh, bit of both? Just with our Walmart not being able to carry like all of what I want, I just yeah. go online. Yeah. Yeah. I think, um, and I think the promoter code is just, it's, it's a cool thing. It's fire. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's fire, man. It really is. <sighs> yeah. I mean, what? Oh, bro, just like thinking. Do you got a code? That. I mean, with Guggen? Yeah. No, I'm not that cool. Yeah. You can use my code to promote if you want. If you yeah. Want a code. Yeah. Uh, I know it's well, peeling so off you, the wall back there. You would, but. Make, you would make money if I did. Uh, never mind. It's like Guggen <laughs> if you're watching Derek 10. Dude, <laughs> what if Dude, we get they Derek should, a code? They should give you a code. Yeah. That would be a dope benefit. We're I, really just say, I just say they give him equity. Or that would be much, much nicer. Just uh, 0.5% equity. Yeah, take that. <laughs> take that I, I'd say you're gambling uh paid way off <laughs> i don't know the numbers but i can i can assume that that would be off. just fine yeah it'd be just fine that'd be ebi that's a full on guggen promo try. episode yeah i feel like guggen uh stole it soul show guggen episode. guggen i think we can invoice him after that <laughs> <laughs> sure. by the way like we just had a full <laughs> argument a whole ad yeah bro we were pissed yeah i was pissed. <laughs> <laughs> also like don't get this twisted um we flew Derek down because of this conversation. We don't make money on the po- I mean, I guess there's a few dollars, but we're definitely not profiting on the podcast. But it's moments like this that I like, actually paid them to be here. No. Edit that yeah. shit out. <laughs> I'm kidding right now. No, but I think it's um it's cool that we're friends with Guggen. We're not benefiting by Guggen on this part. I don't know how to say this. What I want to say is I thought this shit was so cool. Guggen's are our friends. And the fact that you were willing to throw your wallet out there and the fact that you're so passionate about those people and willing to put your dollars on the line in such a serious way and literally not knowing if you could get a shirt that says this shirt costs $9,000 because I used the code Flare, which by the way, now should definitely be a shirt because that shit's funny. <laughs> I mean, you should I th- definitely get a shirt for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, just do this one. The other stuff is just bonuses. I think it's only a, one shirt. I know they would never do this, but it is funny as a joke about like that. <laughs> I'm just, I just, I hope they do make the shirt. Just, but he gets that shit. Yeah. yeah. Like he gets one pack of golden banditos <laughs> and that's it. It's <laughs> like a custom golden bandito. And it's like, wow. Hey, brother. Damn. No, but. I, Dude, oh, what if they did this though? This would be really cool. Like. Each bag, he had a bag of baits and made them out of gold. 
That would be sick. That'd be sick, just for like funsies. Yeah, I mean, I think, I'd melt them down. I but think everything we say, yeah. we're like forcing their hand. They're like, "Well, we're just gonna fly them back and down a new bass crazy. boat." <laughs> Actually, honest to God, Rob's like, new bass boat. Dude, yeah. they should do that. Maybe pay for a place for him to stay down there. <laughs> oh my God, buy him a house, offer him a new job. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, dude. All yeah, right. he could be. Give him a job. Yeah, offer me that job. You would. Work, I. This. This is not to be funny right now. If you have, if you were to have a job with Guggen, what do you think you would do? But bring value here, because remember, like this See, is like a real job. What right. could you do? That's where I would have no idea, just because I don't know the behind the scenes hold on, infrastructure hold on. and all that. Hold on, hold on. Smart answer. I respect it, but give us a give us a real job type. I already I know. I already know. I already know a job he's got. I we could get him the job this week. He can do the food. Rob was talking about it last Guggen week. Oh. F- that, what would you do? That would be if you were fire. essentially a Guggen Scout and you just go around searching for spots where fish to catch the fish to say, "Hey, they are on on this lake. You guys need to come and film here tomorrow." That'd be the best damn so, job oh, on the planet. Dude, that, this is like Guggen Week. So a lot of Guggen Weeks are unplanned. It's like get everybody together. We're going here. Mm-hmm. But what he's saying is, Rob mentioned he was like, "Well, why don't we have somebody that pre-fishes this stuff and lets us know what's fire and what's not fire? Like, let's not drive three hours." here because it's not fire but let's drive four hours here because it is fire and be worth our time they were saying they needed someone like that that's a lot of pressure though yeah i'm gonna apply for that I, <laughs> <laughs> gonna apply yeah for i no no questions asked like that, damn that's Dude, what it, that would be sick but wouldn't it be a lot of pressure like if you're not on the bite you're just like holy shit i gotta tell <laughs> these boys i don't know or you just gotta guess and like here's pictures bro i've been <laughs> okay so how long have you been fishing <laughs> probably since three or four years old okay yep. how long have you been like seriously fishing like you know your shit or do you not know your shit like probably three years three years yeah mm. so you're pretty dialed mm-hmm. dude i hope yeah, we can go good. dangle for a minute after this pod let's it's wrap this bitch close. up yeah it's be close, dude man. it'd be dope if we get out there Derek, is there anything you want to talk or say before we wrap up the podcast here anybody you want to shout out we we flew <laughs> girlfriend we flew you down grandma. here this is we, shout out. we shout, we shout out your the girlfriend and the grandma. just any, anything you want to talk about you uh, know, shout out to the girlfriend grandma and wait what are their names go ahead caitlin lisa and then everybody at panera bread for making it happen. Yeah, yeah. Panera yeah. Bread. yes that should be Dude, a sponsorship I'm going as there. well you can use code derek 10 to save 10 percent off your order at panera bread <laughs> at your local panera bread they'll know exactly what you're talking about you pull up there exactly. and say, hey, we're going when we get home yeah. jake one yeah for sure no I'm we're gonna try it. we're gonna send them the, we're gonna i've send never been to panera really? bread i've never been to panera bread is it really? worth it or not uh, <laughs> no, bro. You worked there. You got, it's a career. You got to say f- Panera Bread's. F- Dude, man, not gonna I can I can tell you what to order. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. That's yeah. fair. He that's probably fair. makes a fire order at. Panera. Yeah. So I know a lot of people may hate and think it's simple, but like the mac and cheese is honestly so damn good. Dude, honestly, I've <laughs> Uber eated Panera Bread hella times. So really, you're good with me, bro. Okay. You're good with me. Yeah, there's one right down the street from me, so I'm going. Yeah. Well, dude, it's um really awesome to have you. Thank you so much for like. <laughs> What the hell, hell was yeah. that? Hell yeah. Damn. Damn. What a sentimental. I was like, no. <laughs> I was like oh, no. All that. All that. I'm so um, sorry. No, I think this has honestly been so fun for Tristan and I. I can't speak for Fanatic because he's not a, a real bang bro. I mean, he's an honorary bang what bro. What the hell? Honorary. I have two pictures up there now. That is true. You <laughs> might have three here in a second. But, Facts. Um, <laughs> Facts. This, this has been really cool for us because we've had on a lot of like our creator friends and like people that we just happen to know that are like interesting and stuff like that. But it was us stepping out of our comfort zone of like our friends who, you know, we had to kind of figure out how to get on. And to have someone like you who is so passionate about our our friends and the people we love, like their content and how it's like actually made an impact on you in certain Dude, ways. Hold on, been, I'm gonna make this even better. I was just gonna suck. <laughs> I was about to say, damn, that's new. Oh, God. I spent all I my didn't money that already, so I hope you're not expecting much. <laughs> you heard that? You're gonna get no tip. Or right, you might get a tip, but not a financial one. Um, but no, I, I think it was awesome for you to take the chance to come on to the podcast with us. And I think it was a lot of fun. I would seriously love to have you back on the podcast after you get whatever Do may it, be in bro. store yeah, for whatever. you. And it I'm may not ever be that. over. Like you may have something that's not just like, here's what it is. You're welcome. It might 
be like a f- strange friendship you make over these years. Yeah, no, so. I think yeah. it's something cool that yeah. the fact that you're willing to risk that, you it's, know, it's nuts. It is wild. Boys. It is wild. YouTube, but yeah. oh, um, thank you so much for coming on, bro. I say yeah. I appreciate everything. Meeting you guys. Yeah, just talking everything. So yeah. sick. I hate that we're flying them right out after this. We're probably yeah, gonna dangle for, for maybe forty five minutes or so. But Dude, the thing about it, that's what we've done with everybody. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I feel Flair bad. was here for two hours. <laughs> I want him to like experience and get to hang out. Well, and, we have a little bit of time if we can but, get off here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you're listening to us through the audio, through the visuals, we really appreciate you. Leave us a rating, subscribe if you're new. Leave us a big thumbs up, comment if you what you want to see yeah. next. Yeah, tell T. What else? You just go Derek at Panera Bread in the drive-thru. That's all I got to say. We love right, you. Let's we'll get this picture. On the next. We, 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 get, it's, this is, we don't have a lot of time. All right. Uh, we got to take a picture. So we're still rolling live on Uh, that you're was g- cool. You're gonna live on our wall forever, by the way. That, that was a lot of fun. Yeah, that was sick. We did it. Yeah. The Banger Bros. You're an honorary Bang Bro, yeah. by the way, Derek. You are. Honorary Bang Bro. Anybody who's willing to bang with us is an honorary Bang Bro. Well, we love you guys. And that's it. Banger Bass out. See ya. Hey, use code Derek.